Alright, welcome to another video tutorial on electronic configuration. In this example, we are looking at astatin, alright, with a chemical symbol AT. And as we always start with our problems, we always look at the periodic table to guide us and determine the atomic number, which will tell us the total number of electrons. And as you can see in the periodic table, astatin is here, element number 85. So that's a total of 85 electrons. And since it's of the neutral atom, we are only expecting 85 electrons. And if we try to look at on the group number, it belongs to the general group number 7A. So it, this tells us that we are expecting 7 valence electrons, meaning we have 7 electrons on the outermost shell for your acetin atom. So let's write that down. And there, I have written 85 total electrons for your astatin atom. So we will be distributing 85 electrons all in all. So we go back to our guide in the increasing energy orbitals for us to fill up this 85 electrons. And here it is. These are again our increasing energy orbital diagrams. And this is the filling up guide that we will be using from the lowest energy orbital which is the s orbital followed by the p the d and the f all right so we'll now distribute 85 electrons using this notation all right so 85 is a lot of electrons so we have filled up here the first two electrons so that's 1s2 we go to the next that's 1 2s2 we go to the next one for each degenerate orbitals according to Hans rule before you pair up okay so that's a total of six for the p orbital then for the first two s that's a total of four no two s and one s total of four so that's a grand total of 10 electrons that we have distributed so far out of 85 so we still have 75 more so let me just do that all together all right so as we had to did earlier we did the 1s to 2s 2p6 and we have continued the rest for your benefit that's 3s2 3p6 after that we have 4s2 3d10 again 3 because that's n minus 1 for the d block before you go to 4p6 and after 4p6 the next energy orbital is 5s2 followed by 4d10 as you can see it's all filled up then 5p6 after that we have 6s2 after that, if you try to look at the degenerate orbitals here, the next one that should be filled up is 5d, so that's a total of 10. The next, instead of going directly to 6p, we still have the 4f here. Then we, again, similarly with other degenerate orbitals, we have to pair. So we have to fill up first individually the orbital the orbital boxes before you do the pairing up according to Hans' rule, as I've mentioned before. So that's already filled up, filled up. Then we now have only have five more electrons, and that is here in your 6p. Now that is very visually, uh, visually obvious or seen here in the levels of your orbitals. And if you go back to our guide, right, either using this one or the other one, you would still have the same answer. Okay, so we go back. Sorry, this one. So we now have distributed a total of 85 electrons. If you simply count, that's 2, 4, then 6, that's 10, 12, then this is another 6, that's 18, that's 20, then we have 10, so that's 30, 36, 38, that's 10, that's 48, then 6, that's 54, okay, then 56, then you have the 10 here, that's 66, then we have 14 for the f orbital, 66 plus 14, that is 70, oh not 70, that's 80, alright, that's 80, then plus 5 here, that's a total of 85 electrons that have distributed all in all. So let's write down our answers and write up the complete electronic configuration of your acetin neutral atom. Okay, so we now have written our answer based on the filled energy orbitals. So 1s2, 2s2, p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10. If we look at our previous illustration here, 3d10 up here. Then next, 4p6, 5s2, 4d10, 4d10, 5p6, 6s2. That's until here. 
then the remaining is 5d 10 40 14 and 6p5 now if you again the d here that's n minus 1 all right so that's why you have instead of 6d that's 5d then for the f here that's n minus 2 so instead of 6f that's a 4f now if you try to compare here sometimes as, as you see the, the energies of the d and the f levels vary with their occupancy all right so the difference here in the energy here is uh, very small now if you try to fill up the electrons here mostly this will be filled up okay usually the f14 uh, that's right the 4f and the 5d are filled up obviously first before going to the p 6p orbital all right so this is our final answer based on that then if to try to compare or check our answer based on the wikipedia and that's the wikipedia here tells us that this is the electronic configuration and again this is written in increasing number of shells so that's how you can see one two three four five six okay if you count total number of electrons that's eight plus two that's ten twenty eight that's sixty right no sorry that's fifty plus eighteen six sixty eight plus seven that's oh, eight seventy uh, 70 no sorry let me do that again all right i was trying to look at the different atom there if this is the asset then again sorry so that's 8 plus 2 that's 10 plus 18 that's 28 plus 28 plus 32 that is 60 plus 18 that's 78 plus 7 that's 85 so there's a total of 85 electrons and the core configuration here is open close parenthesis xenon 4 f 14 5 d 10 6 s 2 6 s 5 again xenon represents the 1 s 2 until uh, until 5 p 6 here all right so that's xenon then the remaining electrons are filled here all right now that is corresponding to our answer here but the difference is this is just written in the increasing energy orbitals compared to the increasing number of shells all right so that's all for this tutorial video thank you for listening and continue learning